take one. Hi, my name. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> My name is Francesca and I'm coming to you from Sydney, Australia. Welcome to the first video of my brand new channel, Back to Art Girl. I'm so excited to be doing this and thank you for joining me. I aim to return to my roots as an artist and in particular dabble in two art styles which seem to be fairly popular at the moment. But I want to experiment and show you how to go about these styles in a budget friendly way and hopefully save some money if possible while having fun. Want to have some fun? Want to try some money-saving hacks? So do I. Let me experiment for you and let's have fun. Hi, hi. I'm Francesca. I'm an ex-professional photographer. I was in the industry for 30 years, 24 of those specializing in shooting weddings. But once my family grew, I cut down on the weddings and shot for more corporate and commercial clients. Art. I love art ever since I was a child. It's in my DNA. I was creative from a young age and in fact I was extremely fortunate to begin working professionally pretty much straight out of high school. Fast forward to today, I retired from photography four years ago. Unfortunately I lost a bit of the passion and it was seriously time for a career change. So I stopped being a sole trader which can get pretty lonely sometimes and went back into the workforce in a role which still allowed me to help others, which is what I love doing. But that's a story for another day. Here in Sydney, we're slowly emerging out of our second and longest COVID-19 lockdown, where we had four months of downtime, homeschooling and getting to know your family better time. In that time, I tried to keep busy by doing stuff at home, which require little extra attention than just a weekend. I've been helping my kids learn from home while schools have been shut down. I have been cooking, sewing, washing, cleaning, and this has been on repeat for the last four months. Ugh. <coughs> About a month ago, while on my internet exploring adventures, I came across some YouTube videos demonstrating two particular art forms, which drew my attention immediately, and I was hooked straight away. The first was acrylic pouring and the second was epoxy resin art and craft. Now I know what you're going to say, oh no, not another one of those acrylic pouring and resin people. I know, I know, there are heaps of them out there in Australia, in the US, the UK, Europe, everywhere. And they're all so good. That's why I love these styles. Can you blame me? The work they create is amazing. And there are many people also sharing hints and tips and how-to videos, which is great. So I delved in and thought, yeah, I could try this. This is so creative. And I think my brain just needs some fresh creativity right now. So I start looking into buying pouring paints, resin, resin molds, other accessories, and whoa, it's not cheap. <laughs> Now, I don't know if it will be possible. I appreciate the work that goes into achieving great results. What I'm not 100% convinced with is that you should stop at the first thing that you find. If you start looking, you'll find hundreds of acrylic and resin pouring products online, on Etsy, on eBay, on Amazon, and direct from seller websites. The market is saturated in these products. Can it be done? I don't know, but I'm sure gonna have fun trying. Remember, I'm only a beginner and I'm not saying that one day I won't be using the more expensive stuff myself also. But let's experiment all the possible economic alternatives in the meantime and have some fun. So come with me on this journey of discovery. Let's go back to art and have some fun. Remember to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my experiments. And wish me luck, hopefully we'll get some art. Thanks for watching my first video on my new Back to Art Girl channel and I'll see you again soon. Bye now. But don't get me wrong here, I know art isn't cheap. You're not just buying paints and resins, you're buying...
fine. <laughs> Bye -bye. That's one for the blueberry. Reel. <laughs>